Are Indigenous people of Canada different from Indigenous people of the United States? Are all Indigenous people the same? Are all Indigenous people part of the same religion? Are tribes and reserves the same thing? If you've ever asked any of these questions before or anything remotely like them, then you're definitely not alone. And you're also in luck because today's video, we are talking about cultural diversity of Indigenous people. Keep watching this video to find out five things that you should know to understand the cultural diversity of Indigenous peoples. Hi there, I'm Mallory. Welcome back to the Tribal Trade channel where we share new videos every single week about smudging, Indigenous culture, and Native teachings. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a new video. Did you know that there are many different nations and tribes of Indigenous people across Canada and the United States? Indigenous people are incredibly diverse. It can be really challenging as an Indigenous ally or even an Indigenous person to make a good impression or not insult other Indigenous people when you ask generalizing questions. Not all Indigenous people are the same. Indigenous people are incredibly diverse and every group of Native people has their own traditions, cultures, beliefs, and values. Aboriginal or Indigenous people are an important part of North American history. That's why it's so important to understand and respect the various tribes and nations that Indigenous people come from. Tribal Trade Co. has helped tens of thousands of people learn more about Indigenous culture and learn the truth behind Indigenous history and teachings. In this video, I'm covering the five things that you should know in order to understand the cultural diversity of Indigenous people. So that way you'll never think that all Indigenous people have the same cultures again. So let me first explain why it's so important to understand cultural diversity. The first reason why it's so important to understand cultural diversity is because understanding cultural diversity will make it much harder to generalize subcultures and offend someone in the Indigenous people or First Nations peoples for this case. So tribes and nations generalizing those different groups of people is much easier when you don't understand cultural diversity. The second reason why it's so important to understand cultural diversity is because the impressions that you make with all Indigenous people will be a million times more positive. Yes, that's a generalization right there. But I think it's a safe one to make because you're going to be bringing more knowledge and open-mindedness to the table. So the likelihood that someone's going to appreciate that is pretty high. The third reason why understanding diversity in cultures is so important is because it unites all people of Mother Earth. So as you understand cultural differences, you understand similarities too, because all backgrounds on the planet have cultural diversity, uniqueness, and subcultures that actually connect all of the cultures together. Alrighty, there you have it. So now you know why it's so important to understand cultural diversity. Now let's get into the five ways that you can understand cultural diversity. So the first thing that you should know to understand cultural diversity of Indigenous people is first understanding the definition of what cultural differences actually mean. So if you think about it, you probably don't live your life the exact same way your friends or neighbors do, right? You have different traditions, different values, and maybe you even speak different languages. The same thing is true of Indigenous people. And that's what we mean when we say cultural differences. First Nations are culturally distinct. Not all Indigenous people live the same way, speak the same languages, or follow the same teachings and spiritual practices. So the most important first step is to recognize that Indigenous people are incredibly diverse and that not all Indigenous people have the same culture. Culture changes from group to group and even from person to person. The second thing that you should know 
to understand cultural diversity of indigenous people is what are the different tribes across Turtle Island? Did you know that there are more than 2,000 prominent tribes across North America? or as some indigenous people call it, Turtle Island. Canada has over 600 federally recognized tribes and the United States has over 500 federally recognized tribes. And those are just the tribes acknowledged by the government. When you consider the massive amount of different tribes across North America, it's easier to understand why no two tribes would be the same. Culture differs depending on location, family values, generational teachings, and much more. Each of these tribes has their own beliefs, lifestyles, and teachings, which is what make indigenous people so culturally diverse. Now on to number three, the third thing that you should know to understand cultural diversity of indigenous people is whether all indigenous people speak similar languages or dialects. Part of what makes up the culture of any group of people is language. Language is often what unites groups of people. We know that indigenous people are culturally diverse because not all indigenous people share the same language. In fact, there are many different indigenous languages spoken depending on the region and the tribe. Just like different countries speak different languages, different tribes have their own languages and dialects as well. In Canada alone, there are 11 major language families broken up into over 50 dialects. Understanding that not all Indigenous people speak the same language is an important part of recognizing the cultural differences between Indigenous people and that they're not all the same. What tribes have you heard about or which tribe are you from? Please share with us in the comments below. Now, the fourth thing that you should know to understand cultural diversity of indigenous people are their similarities and differences in cultural practices. Each tribe has its own spiritual practices. Not all indigenous people follow the exact same practices. In fact, spiritual beliefs and practices can vary significantly between First Nations, Métis, and Inuit groups and individuals as well. While there might be some common elements, it's not unusual for practices to vary between groups. That means often Indigenous people are connected by some common threads, but it doesn't mean all Indigenous people follow the same spiritual practices. For example, many Indigenous people believe Indigenous spirituality is a way of life or a worldview centered around a relationship with the Creator but how those views are expressed or practiced can vary quite a bit between groups. If you're learning about or connecting with a specific tribe or group of people, it would be beneficial to do some research about that tribe's particular spiritual beliefs or practices, especially if you wanna make a good, respectful impression right from the start. The fifth thing that you should know about understanding cultural diversity of indigenous people is, are there similarities and differences in the cultural teachings? The same thing that is true of spiritual practices is true of teachings. While there might be some common teachings, not all tribes teach the same things. Just like you might have learned about something different in school than someone who lived across the country from you, Indigenous teachings are determined by generational knowledge, as well as location and the way of life. So there's no one right way to be Indigenous. Teachings, spiritual practices, and languages might vary on the group or individual, but that is also part of what makes Indigenous diversity so incredibly beautiful. If you're looking to connect with, learn about, or work with Indigenous people, it's very important to learn about these five things that we discussed here today to enhance your relationship with and understanding of Indigenous people. Congratulations on making it to this point of the video. 
Now you can feel much more confident interacting with Indigenous people from all over Turtle Island. So hey, if you've made it to this point of the video, please let me know by commenting below with Turtle Island. If you like this video, be sure to like it, let us know in the comments, share with your friends, and don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a new video about Indigenous culture, history, and traditions. Do you have a connection with any of the tribes or First Nations in Canada or the United States? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and we'll see you next time.